So what are we to make of the jewels that were on display at Westminster Abbey last Friday and in particular those that Kate Middleton wore as she walked down the aisle? Well, the now Duchess of Cambridge uh, wore a tiara that um, I think says an awful lot about the new royals. I never thought I'd say this, but the tiara, which is the 1936 Cartier halo, is in fact a democratising element. Said it was um, bought from Cartier in London in 1936 by the Duke of York, who then um, went on to become George VI, the stuttering king who Colin Firth so poignantly brought to life in the recent film. He gave it to his wife in turn, gave it to the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II that is, on her 18th birthday. Now the Queen loaned it to Kate for the day as is tradition. What's unusual is that um, up until the moment that Kate stepped out of the Goring Hotel and through the thin uh, gauze of her veil, I was able to see that it wasn't one of the tiaras that she was expected to wear. The odds were on uh, the Russian fringe tiara or the George III tiara which um, was made by Garrard Garrards in 1830 and um, it's very spiky, it's very big. Or the Cambridge Lovers Knot tiara, which was made in 1914, which was one of the favourites of Diana. Diana didn't wear um, the Cambridge Lovers Knot tiara for her wedding. She wore it on other occasions. And what she did wear for her wedding was the Spencer tiara. Now, she wore the Spencer family tiara because she could, because she happened to have a family tiara, because of course she was from an aristocratic family. Now, that was not the case with um, the Duchess of York, who was given a brand new tiara by the Queen for her wedding. The fact that um, Kate was lent a tiara by the Queen and that it was a very personal choice. It wasn't a ceremonial, it wasn't a tiara laden with significance that can be said that it relates to this event or brings in this piece of history, reminds of this particular person. It was much more a personal choice. And in fact, um, uh, for William, the fact that Kate was wearing a ring that belonged to his mother, who was obviously a very important woman in his life, and a tiara that belonged to his grandmother, tells me that this is a very personal choice, that this is about the young couple saying that they're going to be royals in a very different way. And I'm very glad that Kate wore this tiara because this is one that I'm sure is going to be widely copied. In fact, as I speak, there are probably factories in China now rattling off copies of that tiara in exactly in the same way that Diana's ring that she wears has been extensively copied. And so I think that her choice of tiara was spot on and um, if a tiara can help uh, the royalty survive and flourish for a new generation, well, long live tiaras.